In this video, we will show you how to set up a run on the Illumina MySeq system upgraded to Microsoft Windows 10 and the MySeq control software v4. In order to start a MySeq run, you will need a clean MySeq flow cell, the MySeq PR2 bottle, a denatured and diluted library, and a fully thawed MySeq reagent cartridge. When starting a MySeq run, there are three run setup options local run manager, sample sheet, and manual. In this video, we will show you how to set up a run by using local run manager. You can access the local run manager dashboard by opening the browser link found on the desktop of the sequencer. Insert your local run manager username and password and select sign in to access the local run manager dashboard. From the local run manager dashboard, select create run. The local run manager software uses different analysis modules to perform data analysis. You can download the modules from the local run manager support page on the Illumina website. In this video, we will use the generate fast queue module. On the next screen, fill the details of your run, including the run name, the library prep kit, the index kit, the desired read lengths, the sample IDs, and index adapters. Once finished, select Save Run. Your run is now ready for sequencing. When the reagent cartridge is fully thawed and ready for use, clean the foil seal covering the reservoir labelled load samples with a low lint lab tissue. Pierce the foil seal with a clean one milliliter pipette tip. Prepare 600 microliters of prepared samples into the reservoir labeled load samples. Avoid touching the foil seal. Proceed directly to the run setup steps using the MySeq control software interface. To begin the run setup steps, select Sequence from the home screen of the MySeq control software. From the Sequence Mode selection screen, select Local Run Manager. Enter your Local Run Manager username and password and select Next. In case you want to upload your run to the cloud, select Use Base Space. Otherwise, select Next. Select a run from the list of available runs on Local Run Manager. 
select Preview Samples to view samples that are associated with the analysis. Select Next to proceed to load the flow cell. Raise the flow cell compartment door and then press the release button to the right of the flow cell clamp. Remove the previously used flow cell. Make sure that the flow cell stage is free of lint. If lint or other debris is present, clean the flow cell stage using an alcohol wipe or a lint-free tissue moistened with ethanol or isopropanol. Carefully wipe the surface of the flow cell stage until it is clean and dry. Holding the flow cell by the edges, place it on the flow cell stage. Gently press down on the flow cell clamp to close it over the flow cell. The alignment pins will position the flow cell. An audible click indicates that the flow cell clamp is secure. Close the flow cell compartment door. At this point, the control software will identify the RFID of the flow cell. If the software does not identify the RFID of the flow cell, check the Resolve RFID Read Failure section in the MySeq system guide. After RFID identification is completed, select Next. Remove the PR2 bottle from 2 to 8 degrees Celsius storage. Invert to mix. Open the reagent compartment door. Raise the zipper handle until it locks into place. Remove the wash bottle and load the PR2 bottle. Remove the waste bottle and empty the contents into the appropriate waste container. Load the empty waste bottle. Slowly lower the zipper handle, making sure that the zippers lower into the PR2 and waste bottles. control software will identify the RFID of the PR2 bottle. If the software does not identify the RFID of the PR2 bottle, check the Resolve RFID Read Failure section in the MySeq system guide. After RFID identification is completed, select Next. Open the reagent chiller door. Hold the reagent cartridge from the end with the alumina label and slide the reagent cartridge into the reagent chiller until the cartridge stops. 
close the reagent chiller door. The control software will identify the RFID of the reagent cartridge. If the software does not identify the RFID of the reagent cartridge, check the Resolve RFID Read Failure section in the MySeq system guide. After RFID identification is completed, select Next. Review the run parameters including experiment name, module name, read type, read length, and custom primers. These parameters are specified in Local Run Manager or in the sample sheet. When in Local Run Manager or Manual Mode, select Edit to make changes to read type, read length, or custom primers. Select Change Folder to review the folder locations. Modify if needed, and then select Save and Continue. Select Next. At this point, the system performs a check of all run components, disk space, and network connections before starting the run. If any items do not pass the pre-run check, see Resolve Run Setup Errors in the MySeq system guide. When all items successfully pass the pre-run check, select Start Run. Congratulations, you successfully started your MySeq run.